Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Diglo Buffalo and this is Let's Play Thimbleweed Park. Now, first of all, I want to apologize because it's been quite a while since my last upload, but uh, yeah, it's been a pretty busy time. So most of my free time has been taken up by my band and we basically have to add a bunch more songs. And uh, so I've been mostly working on that, getting the songs ready to give them to everybody else. And uh, yeah, so that's what has been taken up my time. In other news, um, as I said in one of the previous videos, it's 34 degrees out, it's August. I'm sitting in an unventilated room with my window closed because there's traffic outside that makes a lot of noise. So if I pass out, I'm sorry, you'll just have to bear with me. Anyway, so when we last left off, we were standing outside what I believe to remember is a somewhat of an occult bookstore. I think that apparently has a sale going on, um, considering the flashing sign over here. And when we walked up to the door, uh, all these eyes appeared and were staring out. So that was fairly creepy. But uh, hey, we gotta be brave, especially because um, Agent Ray is still stuck in a sewer somewhere. Which we will have to figure out how to get her out of sooner or later, but for now, we're still basically exploring uh, the, the surroundings and seeing what, what there is in this town and hopefully then finding what we have to do next. So anyway, let's see if we can get into the bookstore. Oh, okay. I thought that was just a door that would lead to a new screen, but apparently not. Occult books. Walk to occult bookstore. Yes, please. Ooh, lights went on. Oh, we have to actually tell him to open the door. The future is never written. All right. Sure. So we've got a cursed mummy, a cursed doll. We've got a raven that is apparently not cursed, but it has a red eye. I presume two red eyes. There's probably one on the other side as well. And it might be alive because it's blinking and it's sitting in a display case. All right, we've got some leaves here that we cannot interact with. There's a cursed door, of course, because everything in this place is probably going to be cursed. Let's see if the lights, the lights are not cursed. But is the ladder? Yes, the ladder, of course, is cursed. Walk to a knot is as good as a wink to a blind horse. <laughs> All right. How much of that is a Monty Python reference? So, Cursed Mummy, a primer of occult teddy bears, which is probably, maybe, an, no, that's, is that a teddy bear? That might be a teddy bear, it's probably not. There's a Cursed Head, a Walk to Dismember, <laughs> holy cow! There is a metric frick ton of books here that are all individually named. Spoiler alert, <laughs> you die. Okay, um, you know, if I'm gonna go through all of those, like I kind of did with the headlines with uh, with a newspaper uh, printer earlier, it's probably gonna take a couple of videos by itself. So yeah, let's try and avoid that. Um, oh, okay. So yeah, all the books are named individually, so either we know exactly what we're looking for or there's just going to be a bunch of in-jokes that I'm sorry, but uh, I'm going to go through on my own time and you probably have to as well. Why is he shrugging his shoulders? Cursed cloak. Are we wearing the cursed cloak? Oh no, it's on. Nice. Creaky door. So let's look at the cursed cloak. It looks pretty ratty. And I do mean ratty. No way I'm touching that. Are you sure? A mysterious force must be holding it in place. 
So you did touch it. So let's look at the cursed doll. Not getting any closer to that. A mysterious force must be holding it in place. Well, I'm not sure how you can know that without touching them. So yeah, there was... Oh, what was there? No, that's just a door. I thought maybe the counter we could interact with, but... Apparently not. No way I'm touching that. Oh god. People. No way I'm touching that. No way no, I'm touching that. he really is not touching that. There's the head. We can't interact with the candelabra. Oh, we did pick it up. Ugh, pretty disgusting head. There's a small name tag. Sep the Navigator's Head. I wonder if that's a Monkey Island reference. Now, just to bring people up to speed who might not have watched the videos in sequence, I've never played Monkey Island, so I will not get those um, references. Can we go up the cursed ladder? Yes, we can. And there's more books here. But we can't get off the ladder. If... Hmm. Oh, uh, maybe not. And we've got like an... What is this? A s well, kind of looks like a walking stick, but looks... M or maybe it's just a pointed stick. Cursed T. It's a package of tea. Can we pick it up? Yes, we can. Cursed eye drops. It's a bottle of eye drops. The label says Hao Ling King Yao Tea. A magical tea. Gives you the gift of speaking many languages. Ooh, that is actually quite useful. It's a bottle of Eric's Eye Magic Special Drops. The label says Restores your vision with a soothing river of tears. Side effects may invoke painful memories. Hmm. Now, have we come across anybody who needs to learn languages or needs their vision, like, helped along? Madame Morena. Herbs and potions, probably. <laughs> Creepy. Well, let's talk to Madame Morena then. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Park Occult Bookstore. I'm Madame Morena. Are you here for the hexes, the summer blowout sale, or, or uh, based on those suits you're wearing, my tax records? I don't get too many visits from suited and booted federal agents these days. I'm Agent Reyes. I'm just here to ask a few questions, ma'am. Well, all right then. How can I help? Let's see, do you know anything about the body by the river? What is this place? Tell me about yourself, Madame Morena. Do you know anything about the body by the river? I know everything that goes on around here. Great! So, you know who was involved in the murder? Okay, so I don't know everything right this minute. But if you're willing to get your hands a little dirty, I can find the answers you're looking for. Okay. What do you need to help us find the killer? I don't want to break agent protocol, but we really need a lead in this case. I need to go on a vision quest to find the answer. But I can't really reach out into the void without a little bit of... assistance? If you can get me an Agaricus Fungus Visionum Delectamentum Mushroom from the sewers, I might be able to help. Those don't sound legal. And your point is... Well, the good thing is we know somebody who is familiar with the sewers and who is presently in them. Did we come across a fungus down there? What is this place? It's the county's primary source of occult books, knowledge, and services. You need hexes, curses, cure-alls, or curios? You come to me. You need voodoo, hoodoo, fortunes, or flimflams? You come to me. Fascinating. You need cough drops or coffee filters? Hey, you go to the quickie, pal. Can you, can you really hex people? I sure can, no matter what the consumer watchdog service says. 
Might not always come out exactly as you want, but spirits work in mysterious ways. So if you have any complaints, take it up with them. And of course, she's the one who hexed uh, the clown. Ransom. Exactly, dude. Right, yeah. <laughs> it all kind of came together because, as, as I said in the beginning, it's been a little while since I played this game. Did you hex Ransom the clown? I'm very proud of that curse. He was being a jerk and he needed a little beat down with the karma bat. I think a permanently cursed face might have been more than a little beating, ma'am. You want a taste of my karma bat, Agent Reyes? No, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. So tell me about yourself, Madame Morena. Tell me about yourself, Madame Morena. There's not much to tell. I set up my shop in Thimbleweed after finessing my craft on the road for many years. After all, there's only so many nights you can vomit peyote and pull cactus needles out of your ass in the desert before it becomes old news. How did you get into the occult? Oh, I suppose when I realized I could get baked and make money doing it. I thought it was a serious spiritual practice. I don't know what to tell you, dear. I like tripping balls, and with the money I rake in from my curses, I'm going to retire on a yacht in the Bahamas. Sounds like a pretty good deal. Why did you set up shop here? The vibrations. This town has a dark and weird energy, which makes it perfect for a cult business. Do you mean an energy like the signals I've been hearing about? No, no, no. Those signals sparking through the air lately are something else altogether. I don't know what they mean, but I know it isn't good. Goodbye. All right. We got some information, so we need to find that weird fungus. Oh, there's a speck of dust. I know the game is just making fun of me with these specks of dust, but hey, I'll pick them up anyway. Can I go back? Is that a door? No. Or at least, I think it is a door, we just can't go through it. Anyway, uh, yeah, so we need to find that weird fungus, maybe, to send her on a vision quest. Me, but, you know, she likes tripping balls, so maybe she just wants to get baked. With our help. Let's see. Find Ray. she probably ditched me. Well, we kind of found her in the sense that we switched to her and we know that she's in the sewers. But, uh, we don't know how to get her out of there and technically, Reyes doesn't know any of that. Unless they're somehow telepathically linked. Anyway, so find mushrooms in the sewers. Now, of course, we could go to Ray. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. And we promptly did. But I'm pretty sure I didn't see any mushrooms. So we'll have to get access to a different area first. That light coming through the grate just flashed. I wonder if that can be a hint that tells us where this grate is. So, well, we got to the end of town, at least on, what was it, Avenue A we were on? So we're gonna walk back with Reyes, and so maybe look out for a staticky light and maybe we can find the sewer access underneath maybe and that's a really big maybe uh, i think i'm spinning my wheels here but and the lights are off the somewhat bad thing about um, hey, if you see a dime it's mine these kind of non-linear games my pocket, always losing money. is that we don't you see know. My dime? 
if we're wasting time or if we're actually getting somewhere. Not really. Um, question. I have a dime. Well, this is an adventure game, so... And it said earlier with the Damn Pigeon Brothers in my that pocket always losing money. There are no irreversible fail states. So I lost my dimes somewhere. Let's see what happens if we give the dime to Willie. Thank you. What happened to my dime? Have you seen my dime? And we maybe talk to him now? I lost my dimes somewhere. I'm no. a federal agent, and I have some questions for you. You know anything about the body found by the bridge? A body? I thought that was a log wearing a suit. Do you know anything about the body or not? What body? I thought we were talking about a log. Oh, he's gonna be very useful. Do you know anything about the body or not? What body? Oh, very good. So, I found that when pushing period, it speeds the dialogue along. And I have to thank one of my commenters for that. I think it was Ramakers again. So, thank you for pointing that out. That is gonna be very useful. Where do you sleep at night? Where do you sleep at night? I have a premium bit of cardboard real estate in the nicest part of the sewers. I've had almost no gator attacks, and there's even a grate for ventilation, so my sewer lung is even better than ever. Oh, wait, wait a second. I want to go Where through that again. Where do you sleep again. at night? I have a premium bit of cardboard real estate, and I've had almost no gator attacks, and there's even a grate for... Okay, so I presume he sleeps down where... Um, Ray is now in that one room with all the boxes, but he didn't give us any hints as to where it is and how we can get there, or in or out. <laughs> Wait, did I did I know this is before open all night? Please mail something. <laughs> that is actually kind of funny. What's that in your pocket? Looks like a wallet. I don't have a wallet. I'm a bum. Or maybe it's not your wallet. You really want to play this game? <laughs> maybe I'm just happy to see you. Looks like something with blood on it. It looks like something with blood on it. That's not blood, just river mud. Ah, so you do in fact admit there is something in your pocket. Well, um... Well, I can't give it to you. What would I put my money in? Is dime? I don't know. See? It's not so easy, is it, Hotshot? Hmm. I've had enough. I'm a federal agent. Hand over the bloody wallet. Well, I may be a drunk bum, but I know my rights, and you need a warrant. Now, look, you find me another wallet to keep all personals in, and this one is yours. It's coming apart anyway, not like those amazing Ransom the Clown wallets they used to sell before its career hit the skids. Now, Ransom was an adulterer, a cheat, and complete... But he licensed good wallets. We'll play it your way. For now. Okay, where do you sleep at night? Hand over the wallet of a federal agent. Tell me what you know about Chuck. Ah, the man was an ass, and I'm glad he died of a heart attack. He ruined my life over nothing. How did, How did Chuck ruin your life? Mr. Edmund made sure I was blacklisted in Thimbleweed Park. My so-called friends turned their backs on me. My watch repair business mysteriously burnt down, 
and I lost everything. Couldn't get dinner reservations, let alone a job. In the end, all I had left of my old life was my beloved Stradivarius. You could play for some money. I mean, if you've got a Stradivarius, you better be good. Uh, why? Why did Chuck try to ruin you? I took his girlfriend out to see that lame insult clown one night. But in my defense, Chuck changed girlfriends more often than he changed shirts. Well, how was I supposed to know she was flavor of the month for the Pilotronics Playboy? Hmm. We'll talk okay. later. Don't leave town. Where would I go? Have you so seen we need, my dime? We need to find a wallet. I lost my dimes somewhere. That's not on our list here, but Damn hole well, we do want that wallet because it's probably money. the wallet of the person who got killed. <laughs> Laserdisc chalet? I probably already chuckled about that the last time I came through here. I don't see any lights that are defective. So, back to Main Street. Oh! Is that a street sign or a light? Uh huh. So. There is a staticky light here, but um, there's nothing we can interact with to maybe find the sewer grate. I'm sorry, I just noticed some... If you... Oh, uh, I see what it probably is. You've got the door that is um that's got like glass paneling you can see through and there's a window in the back that you can see out of and then there's a mountain over here and so when when you walk by the mountain actually moves in the background oh huh. now i just saw that uh moving in there and i thought well that's kind of weird no it's not here so it's already, locked. Obviously. So, we're back to just moving around pretty aimlessly. Let's walk to the outskirts. Ooh, cutscene. Hello, Reno. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is uh, uh, quite annoying. No, sir. Yes, sir. They have been taken care of. Yes, sir. Permanently. Oh, yes, sir. Violently. No, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, wrestling was quite good tonight. Goodbye, sir. Okay. That was somewhat ominous. So, let's see what we have here. A small parking lot. A bathroom. Food, beer, open all night at the Quickie Pal. Hmm. Ah, oh, light switch. Let's use the light switch. Very good. For a good time, Edna 3444. Uh-huh, we've already seen that. So those obviously weren't eyes, or whatever this is. Which looks kind of ominous. Oh, no way am I going to look in there. I can smell it from here. No, he's not actually. Gonna look at saves the trees. Writing. Fair enough.
Do we have something that needs drying? There's a frowny face on the mirror. Huh, I look good. Employees must always wash their hands. It's turned off. Okay, there's a tube on the toilet. And this we can't even interact with. There's seat liners, there's toilet paper. So the water does work. Can we, I don't know, turn it off again? We're wasting water. So, let's see. Ugh, they're all used up. Ugh, pick them up. they're all used up. Lots of super absorbent paper on this roll. That might come in handy. Looks like a really big tube. It's stuck. I'd rather not. I can imagine what it looks like in there. It's the Toiletron 3000. And there's a speck of dust. <laughs> They're just accruing here. Movietron Beta Rent. Talk to the man eating plant. Right, there was one of those in Maniac Mansion. That we had to first make grow, and then we had to give it soda so that it would burp and, uh, well, not chew our face off. We get greeting cards. Can't get coffee or any of this other stuff. We can play Lotto, much like uh, Zach McCracken. There's a mail slot, there's a bus pass. Bear repellent. Maps. Security camera. Leonard. Hmm. It's an I'm sorry for forgetting your birthday card. That's sweet. It's an I'm sorry your hamster died card. Oh no. Yeah, we need one of those. It's an I'm sorry you're feeling like a beep card. Jeez. We did barbecue. Uh, we did microwave the It's an I'm sorry actually, for being a dick card. There should be more of those. Those always come in handy. It's an I'm sorry your face won't come off card. There's a picture of a clown with a lot of hair. <laughs> it's an I'm sorry you were cut out of the inheritance card. Eh, that also sucks. There aren't any maps left. Sorry, little dude. The sheriff came by a bit ago and nabbed all the maps. Didn't even pay for them. Something about immature dominion or something like that. Mm-hmm. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? Some maps would be nice. It's called Levo's Bear Repellent. When you have this, you don't need to bear arms. Well, and as we all know, in um, Thimbleweed Park, you have the right to I'm bear arms to or the serve. right to arm bears, whatever you want to do. Take it. It was a sample from a traveling animal repellent salesman, but I doubt if it actually works. I wouldn't want to find out. That makes sense. Oh, look at that. We can redeem bottles here for five cents. And, uh... I think... Need an I'm sorry card? We have a great selection. Ray must have a couple of bottles. 
It looks hungry. I don't have an extra finger, though. I'm here to serve. You don't have anything to feed it. No, except for maybe the tea. I don't want to pick that up. I personally am really fond of the chocolate bonbons. That doesn't seem to work. Hmm. Anyway. Better leave it be. Let me know if I can help you with anything. I'm not sure. What Need we an can I'm do sorry here. card? We have a great selection. Oh, um, guess I'm on camera. Hmm. Don't forget to smile at the camera. My boss likes happy people. And we all know employees are now being surveilled 24 hours a day, pretty much. I mean, of course, they don't... Hopefully, do you know my they don't Bernie? work. 24 hours a day. Yes, we do Your cousin know your cousin Bernie. He helped us very much in Maniac Mansion. Anyway. I'm, I'm not sure if there's anything useful we can do in there right now. All the lights are out. It must be broken. The instructions say, insert coupon for movie. And we don't have a coupon. But there's a path waiting somewhere over here. But I think we'll find out where it leads in the next part because we've gone on for long enough. So for now, I'll thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like or a comment below. Subscribe and all that fun stuff. And I will see you in the next part. So until then, have a good one.